How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number two in my QBasics series. And in this video, we're just going to quickly go over how to open files, save files, and how to run a file. So let's do that. Open up the QB64 folder that we have on our desktop now and let's just launch QB64. Now, this one that pops up is where we write all our code. So just for an example, I'm just going to do a simple print statement. So I'm going to print out, hello world. Now, we can run this by hitting uh, the Run tab, and then in the drop-down menu, selecting Start. So let's hit Start. You'll see it says Creating EXE File, and then Starting Program. And a window pops up with our program in it, and it says Press any key to continue. So you just press any key once the program's done running to exit out. And right now, you'll notice up here where the title of our project should be. It says Untitled. We haven't given it a name yet. But you'll also notice, inside our QB64 folder, we have a new exe file that was not there originally. So let's run that. And it's the same program. So the exe file is created, and by default, saved inside the QB64 folder. And you'll notice up here, the, uh, the title of our window is untitled uh, as well. I'm just going to delete that because we don't need it. Now as far as saving files go, you just click on the file menu and save as. Now, very simple, obviously, um, and it's uh, the QBasic uh, runs the .bas files, .boss, and let's just backspace, and we're going to give this our own title. Now, reason I'm doing this tutorial, if anyone has ever used the uh, original QBasic uh, that was for uh, MS DOS and you know Windows 98, Windows XP, some of the older operating systems, you couldn't give uh, your title of your application um, it couldn't be longer than so many characters I believe it was seven characters was the maximum length of the title of your program well we can give it an insanely long name so I'm just gonna give this a random name and a really long one and uh, you can choose where you want to save this I'm just gonna keep it saved in our QB64 folder like it suggests and I'm gonna click OK now you'll notice up here that we uh, have the new name for our project and you, it's kind of cut off but it will have the .boss extension and if we go to our QB64 folder we'll see this boss file here um, and if you were using the old uh, QBasic if we had a file name that was longer than those I believe seven characters it would be renamed to something random that was seven characters but we don't have to worry about that now, but once again, I'm going to delete that file. I'm going to save this file as, I'm going to actually give it an actual name. And we're just going to call this program hello. And okay, here's our file. And now, instead of just starting the program, I'm just going to say make exe only. Uh, it says exe file already created, that is weird, okay. I was hoping we'd output an exe file here, but I guess not. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now it made the exe file. Anyway, not sure what the problem was there, but it finally created the exe file, and you'll see it right here, hello.exe, saved in the same folder as our .bas file. Now, uh, the only other thing I wanted to do is go over opening. It's very simple. Uh, yes, we'll save our program. Let's relaunch QB64. Click on File. Click on Open. It'll show you here all your files. And, of course, Hello Boss is the only one we have, so we're going to select that one. Select OK. Opens up our program right where we left off. We can run. Start it. And there we go. So, thank you guys for watching. That was a very quick and simple tutorial. Um, please leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.